Hey guys, what's happening? This is Sidewinder for Community StarCraft 2. I have another cool game to bring you guys that I think you'll really enjoy. And uh, this is just going to be a one game. This is just from a ladder game. And the players in this game are Full Tilt Poker, which uh, you might think, who's Full Tilt Poker? This is actually Hongan Prime on his North American account. And uh, he's fighting. Our Terran player down here is LSH Punisher. They're spawning cross map on Antigua Shipyard. And uh, basically, I was just told this was a really cool replay, so I just decided to go ahead and cast it. And hopefully, it turns out to be something really cool. Hongan usually does really cool stuff with uh, really unconventional strategies. So, he was the player that was known for beating Keen in the GSL last season with carriers. And Keen is a Terran player, so it was pretty surprising to see that kind of stuff. And as a result, Keen fell down to code A, and uh, yeah, it was it was interesting stuff. But uh, anyway, so yeah, we're just going to see the openers between these two when we pull the production tab. Nothing really unusual going on, and Punisher hates the automaton, and he go has, goes ahead and blows it up. Punisher looks like he's going to drop his barracks behind his wall, which typically indicates he's going to be going for some type of bio opener, whether that's one racks or two racks or something like that. A lot of people like to build it back here and then pressure, and they don't build it on their wall because they avoid Void Ray all-ins. Which has kind of passed its time, at least in terms of on the Korean scene. And the Korean scene is like watching the future of StarCraft, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure how much you're going to see that anymore, but... Hongan, really not doing anything unusual. Gateway, gas, all the normal time. Second pile on normal time, 16 or so. Uh, there's also gas coming down here for a Terran player, which does not mean he's going for anything really risky like a gasless uh, one barracks expand so we'll see what Hongan finds out once he's able to scout him Punisher is not scouted at all and this is pretty late some Terran players like to scout after their barracks and it looks like that's exactly what Punisher is going to do or not never mind he's just going to go ahead and drop a supply depot so he's playing really in the dark right now being pretty greedy um, and just so that you guys know Hongan he's a pro Korean player at least a pro level Korean player he's easily grandmasters in North America so, uh, these are definitely very high, highly skilled players. So if you haven't heard of either one, definitely look up Hongan. Uh, Punisher is somebody that I don't really know about. He is Grandmasters in North America, but there's a lot of them that don't get around on the pro circuit, either because they don't like take the game that seriously, or uh, they really haven't made a name for themselves. It's kind of hard to make a name for yourself in North America as a pro, so say you don't have anything like uh, the GSL, which is open qualifiers all the time, and you can... Uh, get in there and play a lot of matches on TV. So, Punisher is finally scouting on about 19 supply, and he's gonna ha he's gonna take a while to scout Hongan. By the time he gets over there, Hongan's stalker is actually gonna be out to kill that scout. So this scout isn't gonna do anything other than tell Punisher where he where Hongan's spawning. This was a tech lab opener, so it's just gonna be a quick Marauder opener, and uh, it will be a concussion shell uh, being researched right off the bat. I think these spawn distances are too far away from each other, and here's Hongan actually going for a Stargate. So, yeah, I was just saying how Void Ray all-ins are really unpopular recently, and here's Hongan throwing that down. So, I don't know if this is going to be an all-in or what, but if it was going to be an all-in, the Stargate is a little bit late. Uh, the Command Center is already starting for Punisher, and he's going to go ahead and move out these two Marauders and Marine, and maybe catch Hongan being a little greedy here, but Hongan does have a sentry. He can block this off for quite a while. And if you're Terran, you definitely don't want to spend a scan just with three units to try and bust up their ramp when they can easily reinforce. But Punisher, do, Punisher doing something really smart, grabbing a Reaper out of this barracks as well so that he can kind of draw Hongan's forces away from the front door for a little bit. And this is actually a really strong push. Um, uh, this is odd. Uh, Hongan's starting a Phoenix out of here instead of a Void Ray, so he wants to open one gate Phoenix with the second gate coming down right now. And up comes all the forces. Hongan should see these forces poking outside of his base. Punisher is really just checking for a fast nexus, and he doesn't see one. So he's got to be really paranoid right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see him throw down two bunkers uh, almost right away, just to protect from any sort of all-in. But yeah, Phoenix are out here, and the Reaper scouts everything. So this Reaper gets in there, sees the Stargate, and he actually should have seen the Phoenix based upon how close the Phoenix was to that Stargate. So... Punisher, uh, your response typically is going to be turrets, since Phoenix can't hit turrets. So Engineering Bay is coming down right now. If you just drop one, maybe even two turrets in your mineral lines, if you see a ton of Phoenix out, which you never know what Hongan is going to do, uh, you can get away with that. Hongan just really coming in here to scout. 
with these Phoenix and delay the engineering bay. So he picks off one SCV. He only has enough energy for one more lift, and he can get the mule, but there's too many Marines out here. They're going to kill the Phoenix. So he needs to be careful. He does just go ahead and delay that engineering bay one more time. So uh, there's a lot more Phoenix coming out here. A third one rallying, a fourth one is on the way as Hongen takes his Nexus. Really weird play here from Hongen so far. He does pick up the mule and pick it off, so... Uh, you can be really irritating with these Phoenix, and Terran players aren't really accustomed to dealing with this kind of harassment. But here comes the turret here in the mineral line of Punisher, and there should be a second one coming down in the other mineral line. Yeah, there we go. If Hong can, can spot that SCV putting that turret down, <laughs> should be able to pick it off. And he does pick off one more SCV trying to build a supply depot out here. So this is, this is a weird harassment. This harassment is, isn't designed to kill a lot of stuff. This is just a harassment to really tax the Terran player's multitasking and see if he can uh, hurt him in ways that people don't really think about hurting each other. Like, if he's spending too much time trying to deal with these Phoenix, he might forget SCVs, and you can see one of his command centers is actually idle. Uh, behind this, he's actually throwing up a Ghost Academy, as so we can see that, that was that's what was building right there. Getting f a free five workers is nothing to laugh at, but in terms of actual damage, I mean, this Terran player is missing a lot of SCVs because of this harassment. So uh, you can see there's there's ways to harass other than actually killing stuff. You can just bug your opponent and make them you know forget stuff. But this fast ghost academy, it could be for EMP to EMP those Phoenix. But if you see them going Phoenix, you can also just really quickly attack him really hard, which is why Hongen has a whole bunch of sentries back at home to defend from anything like that. You can drop I think it's only three force fields required if you get really good force fields to block all this off uh, and prevent anything from coming up. So. Yeah, Hongen's now on four gates and one Stargate. Meanwhile, our Terran player has not decided to start dropping his medevacs or anything yet. Another Phoenix dies to a turret, so you can see that the turret does help out quite a bit, as Phoenix do die fairly fast to it. They have 180 health, which is actually quite a bit for the type of unit that they are, but turrets can rip through stuff. As you can see them, they will fend off Mutilus and stuff like that really easily too, and you can kind of treat this as the same thing of just a couple of, of Mutilus in your base, but I think Phoenix are actually a little faster, so... It can be pretty irritating. And what? Uh, we have a fleet beacon on the way from Hongen. So is he going to go carriers again against Terran? And this is a huge force pushing out of here. A lot of Marines. And there's just not... Okay, there's actually quite a few Zealots on the field here. Punisher is ahead in supply. There's four Phoenix... Or rather, two Phoenix that are out. Four supply worth of Phoenix that are out right now. They aren't going to do a ton against this. So I think Hongen should actually be fine against this push right here. Uh, Punisher does smartly just stim up one Marine to see what's going on. And he does land an EMP on two of the sentries. Nice force field here to split up the army, though. And I think Hongen will actually do okay against this, but we'll see. He does get a bunch more force fields. Those are, just, those are purely defensive force fields while he waits for one more warp in. And Punisher knows that. And if he keeps pushing up here, that will be pretty silly because all his Marines will be at about half health from two stims. So he can't... What the... A mothership is on the way out of Hongen here at the natural. So... What? What are you doing, Hongen? Here comes a whole bunch of units, more Marines pressing up here, killing two Zealots basically for free. Guardian shields go up, and Hongen's going to have a hard time holding this because he invested so much into that mothership. Phoenix start coming in here to lift Marauders, and that's really smart because then the Marauders can't get their damage off on the Stalkers. Hongen should just barely clean this up, but removing two Marauders from the battle like that is so helpful because Stalkers can still fire at these Marauders, but obviously they can't do anything. So, yeah, you can see them just getting picked out of the sky, and... I can't believe there's a mothership on the way here. And on top of that, Hongen is actually holding the pressure that Punisher is bringing out. This is something you could only get away with on a huge map on cross positions like this because it takes Punisher so long to run all this stuff over there. Uh, the rally time on these Marines is just ridiculously long. You can see Punisher checking for a third. He's actually going to land his uh, factory there or build a new one there or something. But Hongen is still scouting in here, seeing what's going on. Uh, there's an, uh, an automaton bugging Punisher's front door, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to have these Marines run home so you could actually see the runtime on there. It's literally almost a minute. It's, I think it's actually a little more to get your units all the way across the map. And one minute is basically two Protoss Warpins, so if you think of it that way, Protoss players are actually pretty safe from early pressure on this map. Those two Marines do die, as you can see the Zealots and Stalkers walking over their corpses. And, uh, yeah, the mothership's going to be out here, and here she goes. Justice has come, as she likes to say. That's that's amazing. I can't believe we're seeing a mothership here against Terran. It's just unheard of. But Templar Archives are now on the way. Charge is now on the way. Plus one armor for Hongen. 
Meanwhile, on the Terran base, he's up to five barracks, as we can see them all uh, hanging out right here. He has actually not been very aggressive about getting upgrades. He's only on one one right now, and the armory has just started, so his upgrades are a little bit behind. I'd like to see him take a third base here, since Hongen's uh, third should be on the way as well. But the, this Terran player is going to get a little more aggressive. He is ahead by 14 or so in supply. I don't think he has any idea about the mothership. Uh, namely because I don't think he has any idea, any idea about the fleet beacon. No, he's still in the dark about that. So here comes a small push out from Punisher. And uh, he's gonna, he's just going to try to be a little aggressive right now. While Hongen just doesn't have a ton of stuff out. Charge should finish by the time this attack gets there. But Storm will definitely not be ready. And uh, he scans this and sees this meager army. And he's like, what? I don't think he knows that this mothership is here though. So if, if he doesn't have enough scans built up. To handle this mothership, this army could just get completely crushed. So we'll see. I mean, if you can can trap them in here with force fields and then put a mothership over the top of it and micro that correctly, this push will get just dominated. But we'll see what happens. Again, one marine up there to scout to see if it's really worth pressing in. One ghost has come in, and now he sees the mothership. Look at this huge vortex all over the Terran army. So he needs to actually run his zealots in there right now, and he just runs everything in there. So. Uh, the two Templar are waiting for storms, and this is going to be brutal once this thing pops. So the Vortex is almost over. Here it comes out, and storms should be going down now all over the Marines. Look at them just completely crush that. There's still a lot of stuff here on the field for the Terran player, though. These Zealots are doing really well with their plus one armor against these just 1-1 one -one Marauders. And uh, Hongen pushes that off. This Terran player right now just has to be like, what? A mothership? And he actually got Vortexed really well there out of Hongen. Uh, the Zelts are just going to chase Marauders all the way back across the map. Medivacs are really running for their lives. They can't afford to get caught by these Phoenix, and here come the Phoenix now, just poking down Medivacs for free. So Punisher being chased all the way home. He does have another force here, so Hongen can't just overcommit and lose all of his units. And he knows that, so he just goes ahead and runs home. There's one Archon trailing behind, but uh, he, gets late, he gets there late to the party. Hongen's Nexus is on the way at his third. This Terran player still doesn't have another command center. I'd really like to see that coming out. Oh, never mind. He just he just finished it up, so he's going to be flying it over. So yeah, hero mothership right there. Um, those those storms did so much damage. This Archon has 14 kills, but it's actually the common the combined efforts of two Templar. And 14 kills in small squad battles like this is so detrimental. So yeah, that that was awesome. I, I hope we get to see more of that kind of stuff. As Hongen's definitely planning for it, but. That was, that was really, really good. Really nice placement on the mothership here, to, too, to keep it hidden for a, as long as possible. Hungen's going to start getting aggressive. He's, he's probably going to try to time out plus two armor finishing. There's also Blink on the way so that he can chase down medevacs in case he gets the Terran player retreating. Uh, there's a double medevac drop here coming out of the Terran player heading up to the top of the map. You can see one Marauder is spotting over here. Look at this, though. Hongen has two Phoenix in position to see these drops coming. So he'll be able to shoot that down pretty easily. He might actually lose Phoenix, but the, the point of it is that he'll be aware of the drop and he won't just die or lose a whole bunch of units to it. So Hongen just hanging out in the middle of the map. It's going to take his army forever to report. Let's hope he has some uh, warpins saved up, and he actually does. Here's a Templar just sitting here waiting for these medevacs. If he hits a high energy one, he's actually just going to kill it. And no response out of Hongen. You need to kill that medevac. Oh, he loses his Templar. So this drop actually does get down on the ground. There's a second push here happening in the middle of the map, and the Terran player just looks like he backs away from it. But the Warpins are now coming out of Hong, and these Zealots should be okay, but Stim, uh, I think these Marines and Marauders are now 2-1. Yes, they are. So they're going to rip right through those Zealots with very minimal losses. So here comes Punisher focusing down a whole bunch of stuff. Hongen is just sitting here, not reporting at all. The Mothership's finally coming over to cloak all the buildings, so he has to spend scans just to drop and kill buildings, but there's now a warp and a zealots here, and if he wants to keep burning scans, this is going to be really unprofitable. The Nexus actually falls here in the main, but it's not that important. All he had was gas mining here. And he's not hurting too bad for gas. He is on three bases after all. He could even just take a fourth after seeing all that. He can actually cut off these medevacs, which two uh, feedbacks will do it. So yeah, he does go ahead and feedback one, just shoot the other one down with stalkers. So, yeah, if he would have just fed back one of those medevacs, that drop wouldn't have done nearly as much damage. He also did lose his fleet beacon, which I don't know if he'll really need in the rest of the game. Actually, no, he didn't lose his fleet beacon. Never mind. I'm, I'm on drugs. But uh, here comes the press-up once again here. Nice storms. There's three ghosts in the middle of this trying to focus down uh, as many targets as they can. Mothership is still pressing up here. Vortex on the front of the army. He doesn't quite get everything, but the stuff that comes out of there is definitely going to die to those zealots. So that's the idea here. And... I'm glad I'm finally seeing this concept put into practice at a pro level. 
There's a bunch of Templar just hanging out here too. And a storm just comes down in the middle of everything. He can feed back all these medevacs too, and there they all go. So uh, this mothership still has enough energy for one more vortex, as we can see. Just she just got enough at 106. But another press up here from the ghost, trying to actually EMP the Templar, and she gets it. Uh, another huge vortex. So these units are all dead. Uh, he's just losing everything to these vortexes. Hong and just wasting him. There's two Archons sitting on the outside here, like, come on out, we'll show you how much fun you can have. And here they come out, you can see the spread, huge storm right in the middle of everything. And it just gets completely crushed. Look at Pong and take a huge supply lead here. Uh, Medivacs are now falling back here as well. Pongan has Punisher on the retreat, and Punisher is actually going to have a really hard time replenishing this. Pongan's not bringing all of his forces forward, though. So he's, he's continuing to press up here now. As Zealots and Archons are now in the main, destroying everything. The supply depots do lift, but there is a small hole for at least the Templar to fit through. And the Templar gets killed by SCVs, so that's embarrassing. But, uh, yeah, Zealots are in the natural here, ripping everything up as well. The Cloak now comes down for all the units for Hongen. So, uh, I actually don't think he can see anything. Now he has to scan. Again, burning scans, just trying to defend himself. That's so awkward for Terran to have to do. More storms on top of these Marines, they just stand there and eat it. So I think this Terran player knows he's been defeated by by a, a mothership in, in TV, or rather PVT. So more SCVs are pressing down here and these Archons are just going to waste them. See them all just die in clumps at a time. The mothership should, the mothership has 16 kills. 17 kills now as it takes out that medevac. So more Zealots and stuff warping in here. Hongen has a pylon coming down here at Punisher's base. Punisher's at 38 supply. Uh, getting completely ripped up now, and this game really is over. There's absolutely no way the Terran player can come back and win, and I know I'm stating the obvious there, but I don't know what Punisher is waiting for other than to just digest him actually losing to a mothership here in this matchup, which I don't, I've don't, i never seen before. So, yeah, I have a lot to say about this. I think this is probably the time to do it, because we can still watch SCVs and stuff dying. The funny thing about the mothership is that uh, if you can actually land vortexes and you have a lot of zealots on the field and they have plus two attacks like this and Punisher finally does leave the game if you have these kinds of, of unit compositions like the Archon, Zealot, Mothership if you can vortex them and run all of your zealots in and your Archons or Deck Templar or whatever else you might have uh, you're going to waste them and the reason being is that these zealots do best obviously when they're right in the opponent's face but they take a lot of damage getting there so this works two ways uh, one, they're already in their face and already doing damage immediately. They don't have to take any damage on their way over to the army. And secondarily, when they come out of the vortex, everything is clumped up, so the Terran player can't possibly micro his way out of that. He's going to be taking damage all over the place from everything. So, yeah, I love that unit composition of Mothership, Zealot, Archon, and whatever else you can fit in there. If you can get Dark Templars in there too, they'll do insane DPS. And if they have to scan, I mean, you don't really know if they're going to target the, the Dark Templar immediately, so they'll get a lot more hits off than they otherwise should. But yeah, that was that was really interesting, really cool play there out of Hongen. Taking a huge risk, like this, let me clarify this, if you actually want to try this, this is the only map and the only real game situation that this would work in. If this Terran player went for like four or five barracks instead of just sticking on three when he pressured, he could have just easily killed Hongen at their first exchange right here at his ramp. So yeah, that's, that was a really cool game. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned for more casts. I have a really cool set between White Raw and Liquid Red uh, coming up. And it was from the Asus ROG, I don't know what that means, Invitational that was held this past couple of days. So. Yeah, uh, check those out. They should be following this video up, and we'll see you in those casts, and as always, I'll see you guys later.